it is time for us to celebrate because it is Bigger Boulder Baking's third birthday. I can hardly believe it. We are going to mark the occasion with five all new frozen yogurt flavors. They are absolutely delicious and best of all, you do not need an ice cream machine to make them. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, tap that subscribe button so you can join a community of over 1 million bold bakers worldwide. So for our frozen yogurt, we do not need an ice cream machine. I'm going to use a food processor and you can also use a blender. You just might have to move around the fruit a little bit so it gets nice and blended. So it's safe to say that cookies and cream is a really popular flavor. So why wouldn't it make a great frozen yogurt? That's the first flavor we're gonna make today. So the first ingredient in our frozen yogurt is, of course, yogurt. Now you can use Greek yogurt, non-fat yogurt. You can also use a dairy-free yogurt and that will work really well too. So our next ingredient into the blender is yummy cream cheese. Now this adds really great flavor to your frozen yogurt, a nice texture too. Next up, we're gonna add in a little bit of honey for sweetness, but if you're vegan, you can always use maple syrup or agave. Those will work really well too. Then lastly, we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. Okay, that's it. All our ingredients are in there. Pop on your hat and blend it up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, that just takes around a minute and as you can see, it's nice and smooth and there's no more lumps. So now, this is my favorite part. Into here, we're gonna add in some cookies. You can add in Oreo, any kind of chocolate cookie that you like. So then we're just gonna go back on with our lid. And you just wanna blend this up for a few seconds. You wanna get the Oreos nice and broken up. Okay, this is looking great. So this is what you want your frozen yogurt to look like. Just like this. Do you see how thick that is? Let's give it a little taste. <laughs> Yummy. There's a reason why this is a very popular flavor. Cookies, cream cheese, yogurt. It doesn't get much better than this. So now that this is done, we're gonna put it into our frozen yogurt container. So to freeze my frozen yogurt, I like to use these little tubs. They're really inexpensive. I'm gonna put a link on my website of where you can buy these. Also, for the recipes for the frozen yogurt can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. Go ahead and fill your tub all the way to the top with your frozen yogurt. Now I am all about decorating, so sprinkle a few cookie crumbs on top as well. And as always, the finishing touch to our frozen desserts are homemade labels. Now you can also find a PDF for this on my website. So there you go, frozen yogurt made in less than five minutes. Now we're gonna pop him into the freezer. He'll take around four hours to freeze, but he will last in your freezer for up to eight weeks. Our next frozen yogurt flavor are two fruits that work in harmony with each other, strawberry and banana. Into our food processor, we're gonna add in some frozen strawberries and frozen banana. Now it's important to use frozen fruit for my frozen yogurts because that's what makes them really nice and thick. Next, we're gonna add in some honey, lemon juice, and then our yogurt. Okay, and then just like before, blend it up until it's nice and smooth. It only takes around three minutes or so. So one great thing about the fruit frozen yogurts is that they're made with all natural sugars. So you get the great flavor from the fruit, but you also get all natural sweetness. So they're good for you. Okay, have a look at this. So do you see how thick this is? This is why we use frozen fruit to get that lovely texture. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Oh my gosh. It's creamy from the bananas. It's nice and sweet from the strawberries. Now, obviously you can eat this straight away, but we're gonna pop it into the freezer. Fill up your freezeable container with your strawberry and banana frozen yogurt. So for decoration, I'm gonna add on a few slices of banana and some strawberry on top. And the finishing touch is our sticker. As you can see, each recipe makes around a pint of frozen yogurt, so it's a perfect amount for one to two people. So this next flavor is for all of those 80s babies out there. It is peach melba. Peach melba is the dessert that is made with peaches, raspberry sauce, and ice cream. But we're gonna take all of those wonderful flavors and put them into a frozen yogurt. We're gonna start out with the first layer, which is the raspberry layer. Into our food processor, we're going to add in our frozen raspberries, honey, lemon juice, and yogurt. And then just blend all of these ingredients together. Once your raspberries are blended, put them into a bowl and pop them into the freezer until you need it. Next, we're gonna get started on our peach layer. Now, just like the raspberry, we're going to add in our peaches, honey, lemon juice, and yogurt. And then blend this all together until it's smooth. So once your peach layer is done, we're gonna remove the blade, and then we're going to add in our raspberry flavor. Now, all you want to do is just dot it around and then very gently go in with your spatula and very lightly mix these flavors together. Keeping all those lovely ripples intact, spoon it carefully into your tub. So once it's all in there, I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of peach and raspberries on top. And then on with our sticker. This is such a well-balanced flavor. It's fruity, it's bright. Look how beautiful it looks. This is the perfect frozen yogurt. 
Black Forest Gato is something that you have requested for a very long time. So I thought, why not take all those wonderful flavors and make it into a frozen yogurt? In a food processor, we're going to add in frozen cherries, honey, lemon juice, and yogurt. And then blend them all together until smooth. So cherries have a natural tart flavor, which is not a bad thing. It balances out really well with the yogurt and the honey. Okay, lovely, it's beautiful color. It's nice and blended. Now into this, we're going to add in a few more ingredients. So into our cherry base, we're going to add in some more chopped cherries to give you lovely texture and a nice look as well. So we're also going to add in some chopped chocolate. Now traditionally, a black forest gato is chocolate and cherries. These flavors complement each other really well. Just give those ingredients a little bit of a mix around with your spatula and then into our tub. And to garnish, I'm going to add a few cherries on top and then some chocolate curls. And then we're just going to add on our sticker. This frozen yogurt is a great combination because you have the richness of the chocolate and then the sweetness and tartness of the cherries. It just works really well together. Now, because it's our third birthday, I thought I'd make this next flavor in celebration. And it is, I have to say, one of my favorite desserts. It is a blueberry cheesecake. Into our food processor, we're going to add in cream cheese, yogurt, vanilla extract, and honey and then blend together until smooth. Now if you're watching this and want to make it but you haven't got yogurt or cream cheese don't worry because I've got two videos on my website of how you can make them at home. Okay this is looking good. Now just like any cheesecake we're going to add in some cookie crumbs. I'm using graham crackers. So now because this is a blueberry cheesecake I have some blueberry puree here that I'm going to add in. How to make this is you cook together a few blueberries with some sugar, puree it and this is what you end up with. And then very gently, just like we did with the peach melba, you want to give them a quick little fold together just to get that lovely blueberry ripple throughout. So now we're gonna put it into our container. This flavor looks so vibrant and smells amazing. And then for something a little bit extra, I like to sprinkle some graham crackers on top. This is absolutely delicious. It's sweet, it's tangy, the cream cheese and the fruit, and then of course the graham crackers. Who does not love graham crackers? I'm just going to finish this off with our sticker and then pop it into the freezer. You just saw how easy it was to make these. You can make all of these flavors in under five minutes with a few ingredients and no machine needed. I know you're going to love these frozen yogurt flavors, so I really hope you try them. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I will see you back here next Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking. You try and do this. Come here and try and do it. These are some of my favorite flavors, so I really hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger, Bolder Baking.